Yeah, we want time. Go ahead, wait. go ahead. Kirk, All right. Kirk, put us here. It's uh, Seeger and Bolton. Call to order. She was just here. Alderman Bolton. Is she in the back? Number six yes, she's meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll call to order tonight's meeting of the Waukegan City Council's Public Works and Infrastructure Committee for December 20th, 2021. May I have a roll call, please. Alderman Turner. Present. Alderman Seeger. Present. Alderman Bolton. Present. Alderman Kirkwood. Present. Alderman Newsom. Present. We have a quorum. Meeting shall proceed. Item B, approval of minutes. I'd like a motion to approve the meeting uh, minutes from the meeting on December 6th. So moved. Motion by Alderman Newsom, second by Alderman Kirkwood. Thank you, lady. Thank you, gentlemen. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Item C, audience time. Is there any member of the audience who would like to address this committee or redress of grievances or if you just want to talk about anything on the agenda or not? Audience time. Okay. No audience time. Moving on. Thank you. Uh, item A under new business. There, there is no no old business. And item A under new business. It is requested that we pass a motion to waive the competitive bidding requirements and approve the resolution authorizing a contract with Hometown Electric for and not to exceed amount of $85,812.80 for the re relocation of a traffic control box, funds to be charged to 307-1307-263-6220-18B bonds. This uh, matter was spoken to by uh, a presentation made by Jay Lerner of the Waukegan Park District in our last meeting. But if there are any questions from the uh, committee members. Are we paying just half of this? That is the half. No, I thought our half was 40000 uh, Half. Half of this. No. Half of this, eighty-seven. Yes. Half of the 87. Well, this, is, this motion requests that we pay, pay the whole thing. So we're, we're going to pull this off the agenda. So I, 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 can, I can clarify that. Okay. Um, so the city is entering into the contract for the full amount of the 85, 5, 12, 80. However, the city is also entering into a letter agreement with the park district that the park district is going to reimburse. Okay the city for 42,756.40. Okay. So the, the reason that it's for the full amount okay. is because we are in we are in contract with the contractor and the there's just separate agreement with the park district okay. to pass the money over to us. Well, All thank right. you. Thank you. Mr. Weiss. So where where is that statement indicated? It, the um, in board docs and I'm going to pass it down to you there was um, this letter agreement. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Yeah. What are you going to say? Because we wanted to make sure that there was an official commitment. Okay. And I believe that the, um, the Park District Board has approved this expenditure. Yes. Great. All right. Mr. Kirkwood, you had a question? Yes, sir. Yeah, Mr. Chairman. Uh, when the park district was here at the last meeting, that was not brought up at that presentation about we would put the whole bill and then they, later on they would reimburse us. That right. was not brought up. So something had to happen after 
the meeting that you or yeah. the mayor made a decision that this is the way, the best way that we could get this done, but it should have been presented to us at this meeting, not behind closed doors, even though you know we said that we would pay partial, that should have been up front from the start. That's my concern. The other thing is that I see once again that we're waiving the competitive bidding and certainly Alderman Turner, you were a staunch person regarding why is it that it's just this one individual company and during the last administration, every time this came up, yeah. you were the one that spoke out yeah. against it. Yeah. So what's so special about this particular company Nothing. that we gave them the bid for $84,000? So there's no other company around that could do that with less cost. Right, so you're addressing me or the lawyer? Well, I'm just addressing everyone because my concern is that, first of all, we weren't informed right. about the deal. Absolutely. And then secondly, we're like, waiving the bidding process. So right. is it somebody knows somebody? You know, that this is the one we want to go with? That's all I'm asking because those are the questions that normally you and others would ask those questions. Absolutely. You're spot on, uh, as always, uh, Mr. Kirkwood. And I do ask that question. I am uh, not in favor, I'll tell you right now, I'm not in favor of this passing this motion uh, and, and for those very reasons. Uh, but I will allow uh, Mr. Garland to explain and answer to your question about why the no bid contract. Uh, but. And, and again, you know, this just came to my attention. So I wasn't aware, I wasn't no, my, as far as I was involved, I wasn't involved in any be, behind the scenes negotiation or anything of that nature. So you're hearing it, I'm hearing it. Okay, right? and, and, and my concern is that if, if that's the one that, you know, there's some special reason, okay. But let us know up front so that we're not doing something behind closed doors and then you, you think you're gonna slip something past us yeah. because my concern is that there's a lot of electrical companies out there and you know to move a box across the street. Okay. Right. Okay. Mr. Garland? Yeah, I was just waiting on you guys to finish. Um, yeah, we did do a competitive bidding and one company, which is H and H electric, they wouldn't they wouldn't even touch it without a floor plan, without a major plan. And at the time, our engineers don't have the, the instruments or the equipment to do a plan. Um, the next company that we used was Mead Electric, and their price was way high. It was $94,000. So we have done work with um, Hometown Electric in the past, and <laughs> they came up with their bid, and we chose them. Okay, but what about Love Electric, which is a local company? I mean, did we look at some of these uh, other companies that's in Waukegan? Did, did we seek them out? You know, there, there's plenty of other companies. You know, some of my former students who have companies, you know, what about some of those individuals? I could give you a list of electric companies. Did we seek them out because we only got those three bids? Did we look and say, uh, we have this out here, could you you know, utilize that because there's other companies in Waukegan that do electrical work. And I agree, but again, these were the electric companies that was picked and- So, so when, when bids are made public, right, it's, it's for those companies who are interested in bidding on the projects to come forward. It's not for us to go out and say, hey, excuse me, would you like to bid on this? Hey, excuse me, want to let you know. So, but but that, that does raise the question, Mr. Garland, how are the, the bids made public? How are, how are the general populace made aware that there is an opportunity to bid on any project? Can you describe that? Uh, that's a good question. And I'm not sure how that process goes. Our electric uh, guy, he had companies in his presence and okay. I just asked him to go out and get three bids. Okay, so maybe he did go to specific companies, all right? In which case, we need to look at that. So, excellent point, Mr. Kirkwood. Uh, Ms. Bolton. Yes. Uh, aren't they on our waukegan.il.gov? 
is there an option where they can go and, and our bids are listed? Or can you elaborate? I've never seen that. There's, there's companies listed that we use mm -hmm. uh, that are used in the city of Waukegan for different things. But um, I think once that bid is open to the public, it's up to the public to realize that those bids are there in order to um, bid on them and, and fit into that time frame that they give them to bid on them. All right. One I more mean, question. I think you have to be really actively looking to see what projects are actually coming up in the city of Waukegan if you want to bid on them. Right. I'll take one more question, Mr. Kirkwood, but before you do, uh, Mr. Garland, can we make a note? We'd like to know what that process is in, as far as um, announcing bids, if you will. We can get that from the city clerk or whomever, but I'd like to know I'm seeing every alderman. And surprisingly, that question has never come up in the past in all these 20 years. Uh, Mr. Kirkwood, then Mr. Seeger, then we'll vote. Mr. Kirkwood. Okay, my only concern is that is there a list somewhere in the city that these are the individual companies in different areas, whether it's electrical, whether it's plumbing, mm. whatever it is, is there a list that the aldermen can take a look at yes. that these are sent out to where? Whatever kind of work is done, whether they're doing uh, some housing uh, situations with CBDG funds, mm -hmm. you know, okay, where, where does those go? What are those companies? And we should be trying to support whenever we can in the bidding process, local companies. So sure. if, if they are bidding low enough that we can do that. Right. So yeah. that's my only concern. No right. Noel can in order to do I know in order to do any work for the city they have to be registered, registered with the city and certified uh, insurance right. and all that so Noel's going to answer the question go ahead ma'am hopefully this is helpful for you our website has an RFP and bid page on it within that page any person whether you're a contractor or not can sign up for notification when there's a new bid posted to that page so you can sign up for specific types of bids or all bids or any combination of things. And then once something is posted in that category, then you're sent an email saying there's a new bid and you can go to the website. So I encourage you to have all of the contractors that, you are, that you're familiar with go to the city's website to the RFP and bid page and sign up there to get the notifications. They'll get a direct notification anytime the city posts a bid on that page. Great, thank you very you're much, ma'am. All right, uh, Alderman Seeger, sir. So am I to understand we only had two bids on this, on this work? That <laughs> three. Three? three. three. Okay. Is there a certain fr uh, time frame? Uh, not that I know of. A time to submit the bid? Yes. Yeah. Can, can we possibly hold this over until we get all the information on it? Well, they only had three bids, Pat. They're holding it over okay. another two weeks. All right. All right. So, I understand. All right. Alderman Bolton, do you call. have something else? All right. Okay. Uh, if there are no more questions, we'll go ahead and take a roll call vote, please. Is everyone satisfied? If there is another question, let's take it now. No. We've got uh, about five minutes before council starts. Let's, let's roll. Okay. okay. Roll call vote, please. Alderman Turner? No. Alderman Seeger? Aye. Alderman Bolton? No. Alderman Kirkwood? No. Alderman Newsom? Aye. What was the count? What was the count, sir? Three. Three to two. Three to two. Three to two. No, motion did not pass. All right. Um, I think that's it and that's all. And the motion... Uh, to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Motion so by... Move. Alderman Newsom, second by Alderman Seeger. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, thank you. <laughs>